I don't think I have a video of me fixing up this trailer. Last year I painted it, I fixed all the lights on it, and I added these stickers to here. Really got it working well. So this trailer is a 16 foot trailer. I believe it's 16 foot to right here. And then there's another extra five foot. So it's almost a 20 foot trailer. So maybe it's 16 plus five. And I uh, wish it were a little bit longer and I can get most everything I want on here. I got these front brakes professionally done, but I never got the rear brakes done. I need rear brakes on this trailer. I need to fix these brakes. And you know what's gonna make that easy? This new tool here I got. Harbor Freight Hercules Brushless Ultra Torque. Let's check this out. Oh, easy work to that. You know, I hate taking off lug nuts, but when you got a tool like this, it makes it such a breeze. My wife was asking me why I needed this. <laughs> Just for sanity's sake, I need it. I need to jack this trailer up, at least so I can get to these back, the back axles here. And um, I'll zip these off. Uh, these are electric brakes. Oh yeah. That'll do. Alright, I got this jack all the way up for this side over here. But look at that. This wheel's still on the ground. And I think it's because this spring here, I think it's missing a bolt that should be holding it underneath there, like the other one over there. So I never noticed that before. But uh, why don't I lay this back down? Let's see if I can see if I can get a bolt under there. What if I just will push it up in there? Do I lay that down? Let's see. Uh, I think I might be blocking the bolt hole. Let me pick that up again. Put it right here. take that off i'm gonna have to drain this oil maybe we gotta take the hub off here it's probably a locking nut down there that we gotta take off pull it off there we go doesn't seem like a lot in there this is pretty thick stuff. I think I'm going to use it for bar and chain oil. I'm going to do both sides at the same time. So let's go ahead and take this tire off. I gotta bend out these tabs on this retainer clip here. Now I can take off the lock-in nut.
here a little critter trying to build a nest in there. Got a little bit something here. <sighs> All right, you can see this one is worn down a lot compared to this one over here. What I want to do though is just replace this whole system. I have no idea how old this is and I really want these brakes to be working as well as they can. So I'm going to price these out. All right, so this just came in. Extra bolts and brakes. Well, they're packaged kind of loosely. Hopefully uh, they're all right. Okay. You can tell which one is the right and the left. The bigger pad is always in the rear. So this is the bigger pad. That is a smaller pad, so that's gonna be in the front. So we're gonna take this one and put it right here because the trailer is going that way. So you need the stopping power on this side. You can even see this one here. See the bigger pad here is on this side. Shorter pad is on that side. All right, what else came in this package? Hopefully this is all replacement hardware. All that. You know how much they charge me? I think it was about 50 bucks, but you know, well, these aren't even grade eight. I think you can tell grade eight by six markings and grade five by three markings. I think that's how it works. Oh, is that $50 worth? Jeez, it seems kind of pricey. All right, so what we need to do is take these bolts off. There should be seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's a the seventh one. Uh, under here. Right, let's remove this clip here. I think I can just pull it out. Yeah. Okay. I think that'll give me access to that last bolt. Okay, last one. Save the hardest one for the last. last one i love this tool you got to get a heavy do heavy duty impact cordless save so much time and effort it makes jobs like these so much easier the wire looks like it was already broken back here so um we just got to break this other wire here or cut it and um and then i think we can pull this off all right let's cut it here all right clean that up a little bit and we can install the new one yeah that was that one definitely needed needed to go these nice let's look at the wires here I don't think it matters which wire goes to which okay to adjust these brakes would put a screwdriver in here and just push it up like that 
so let's get the uh let's get this back together let's put this hub on first and um then we can hook up the wiring and uh, try to adjust them bear hug it. I think that's the easiest way to get it on there. Okay. okay. Washer that goes on first. Then nut. That's not going anywhere. Let's get the oil cap back on here. All right, let's fix the wire in here. We got one that's grounded up here and one that goes to the brake controller. So I think it doesn't matter which one goes to what here. So I'm just gonna cut this off right here. Now we just need to fill this with oil, adjust the brakes, put the tires back on, and then we can test it out. All the wheels back on, snug down, tightened up. I think I forgot the brakes adjusted just enough. I didn't even have to adjust these at all, actually. Um, so I want to uh, hook up the trailer to the truck when this dries out a little bit. It's just so wet right here. But uh, let's let this dry out for a couple days. And then we'll hook this up and uh, test her out. I really want to test her stopping power. I want the trailer brakes to stop the truck. Hopefully we can get that working. Now we can fill this up with a little bit of gear oil. I don't think this takes much. All right, I've got the wifey in the car and we're just testing the brakes here, so. Okay, release. All right, that was the one I didn't change. Here's the one I did change. This one's definitely tighter. Okay. Uh oh, that one not working. That one is not working. I do it again? Yeah, this one's not working at all. All right, release. I'm hoping we just have like a bad ground or something. So right, I'm just gonna cut these because Something's definitely going wrong. You said it'll be like a minute. I've been here for half an hour. Yeah, I didn't think it would take that long because I didn't think I'd run into an issue. So I got I got some sort of broken wire maybe up here. Or maybe a bad ground or something. Can I go or not? No, no, no. I'm on, hold on. Just give me a second. I'm almost ready. Okay, um, all right, go ahead and are you ready? Touch your brake. Yeah. All right, hit him. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, we're getting juice. All right, I'm glad I tested them. We definitely have an issue inside the brakes. We're getting juice. But uh, 
brakes are not working at least these ones all right well that kind of sucks that tire over there was the one now that one works like a champ and the other two front ones that i didn't change out work fine this one does not i confirmed we are getting juice but the brakes aren't working so i gotta take this all the way off after i filled it up with oil and uh, figure out what's going on this is really quick when you have to do it a second time i just took up the battery right there just to double check make sure i was getting enough voltage directly to this brake and sure enough it still wasn't doing anything all right so we can test these magnets with the lug nut once we charge these up so i'm just gonna hook these wires up i'm gonna do this I can do this with one hand here. All right. Well, that's working. Look at that. It's pretty strong. And then, as soon, yeah, as soon as I release it, it should drop. Okay, so the magnet works. All right, let's try this again. Let's hook up this battery. All right, so I'll just hold the positive here. We'll see if this does anything as I'm spinning it. Oh man, I really need to loosen that. Break a little bit. Let me see. Let me see if this does anything. I'll spin it with my foot here. Oh, I heard it. All right, it's working now. You hear it. All right. It works fine now. I don't know what was going on before. Maybe just the magnet was, I don't know, loose and not, uh, or it was stuck. Maybe the magnet was stuck or something. Oh well. This stuff is pretty thick. It's good for bar and chain oil. I just forgot to turn on the camera, but the wife just uh, stepped on the brakes and confirmed that they did work. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-solder the wires again, and then we'll do a test drive. So the wifey has gone already, so I have to do this by myself. All right, let's use this homemade uh, two by four here. That'll do it just there. Turn it on. The wife had to go run errands, so I gotta do this on my own. Just wanna check the solder. See if everything's working one last time. So before I take this for a test drive and drop everything. So, brakes are working. This should be locked. Oh, come on. That move. You see it move? I saw it move. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Ah. That's locked. That's locked. We're hooked up. Let's go. All right, all of a sudden my brake controller stopped, decided not to work. It's like getting stuck right here. I need a new brake controller. I don't know what's going on here. All right, it's time for a new brake controller, I think. What is this piece of crap? It's not even detecting anything. What's going on? I'm putting the brakes on right now. I feel nothing, nothing from the trailer. I think it just all of a sudden decided to crap out. All right, well, I got to figure that out. I was going to run my battery down. Nothing's hooked up. Absolutely nothing. All I did was push that uh, brake controller manual lever in and uh, Disconnected. Lights. Lights. No key in, no brake on. This is stuck. This is stuck in this gear for some reason. I don't know why. Won't come out. Why all of a sudden it decided to go bad. Oh, there. Oh, oh, well, there. 
righty. Oh, look what I found under here. There we go. Oh, that just came off. I mean, I... Oh, okay, now it's off. Let's see if the brakes... The brake lights are off now. Okay. So I guess jiggling it did it. Sounds like I need a new one of these guys. Just decided to die on me. Let's get a new brake controller. Right. So I don't need the brake controller out of this car anymore. So I'm going to take this one out of here and use it for my truck. This is a Prodigy. Oh, it's a Prodigy 2. I think this is a pretty good controller. This, this one should work well. Okay, so yeah, this will fit over here just fine. It looks like I do have that six pin connector right here. I think all I have to do is take that out right there and plug this other one in. All right, I got the Prodigy 2 in here now. This old one has been taken out. And uh, looks like it's plugged in. Should give me an NC for a no charge. Let's see, let's see if I can put some power in here. Let's see if I can, uh, oh, there we go, no charge. All right, so I could adjust it. All right, I plugged in the uh, trailer uh, and it now says C for charge. That's good, that's what you wanna see. I think I can hold this in and then turn this all the way up. All right, so it's up to it's up to 10. You can adjust it as high as it'll go. All right, battery's dead. All right, so leaving the lights on last night, uh, definitely hurt the battery. So I'm gonna pull out this top down. This is probably not designed for dualies. 6.0 liters especially with two batteries but uh, I don't think I need much juice but uh, let's see let's see if we can get this started with just a little bit of help that's uh, what we're gonna use so we'll hook that up um, I don't know if we have to hit the button maybe turned on automatically There you go. That's all she needed. The little jump starter came in handy. Oh. There you have it. Jump starter top done. Comes in handy even for a diesel 6.0. All right, we're hooked up. Let's get back in here and uh, try this out. All right, so I'm gonna get out here on the road. I'm not going to use the brakes at all. I'm going to use just the controller and see how see how it slows down the uh, the truck. So here we go. Get it up to about 25 miles an hour, and I'll push this down. Okay, 12. It's slowing it down, not as fast as I want, but maybe we got to work those brakes in a little bit. 40 miles an hour, and oh yeah, they're kicking in pretty good. This has also got a boost level. I can change it to, it was off. I'm gonna put it on three. So if I barely put on the brakes, yeah, it definitely hits the trailer brakes a little bit more. So it jumps it right up to seven. So if I'm going downhill, there you go. I can do that. Did you guys see that? Check out the rear axle here. The wheels don't seem to be stopping. Here's the camera from a different angle, from the rear. When I slam on the brakes, the front axles are locking up, but the rear ones keep on rolling. I believe they're stopping, just not as strong as the front ones. You guys know how to fix that? Leave comments below if you do. I'd really appreciate your help on this one.